Hey you guys, so this video is all about sheet masks that I have used. So these are like sheet mask empties and stuff like that. This video can kind of give you an overview of some of the masks that I've tried and I love sheet masks. I think they're amazing. For me, they've done a lot of really good things for my skin. I try to use one every single night and there are varieties that you can get from like Amazon and stuff like that where they'll sell them in a pack of like 16 or you know, something like that to where you can use them every single night and they're pretty inexpensive. I know for me personally they've really helped keep my skin clear and balanced and calm. So no matter what skin type you have, I think sheet masks are a really good investment into your skincare routine. I always use one before I go to bed because I do have oilier skin and so I find that that stickiness that's left behind is not great like meshing with my makeup or you know throughout the day my skin will just really really become oily so whenever I use it at night I wake up and my skin just looks great it looks healthy it looks moisturized and plump so I would highly recommend using a sheet mask if you never have before and I will let you guys know like my top three and like my bottom three so that way you can kind of know which ones to avoid and I will also link down below where you can buy these sheet masks from. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start with like one of the most popular brands and that's Tony Moly and these are like I've tried all, like the whole entire range of packaging from Tony Moly. These are just the ones that I have saved. I think these are a pretty popular choice. You can buy these at Ulta, way overpriced at Ulta. I really wouldn't recommend buying them from Ulta. I would get them off Amazon. There's also a website called masksheets.com, which I haven't personally shopped from yet, but I have friends who have shopped from them and have had really good experiences with them and they sell a ton of variety of sheet masks. They have sales all the time. They have dollar sheet masks. So I will link that down below. But um, Tony Moly also offers like different varieties. They don't have just these colorful packaging designs. And so I have here the pomegranate elasticity, the aloe, and then the tomato mask, which I think these are okay. I'm not a huge advocate of these masks. I'm not a huge fan of how they fit on my face. I feel like they don't really fit comfortably they don't really sit well and also I think the material is a little bit thick and I think sometimes some of the masks depending on which one you get can have a lot of excess essence in them and some don't like some are totally dry so I feel like they're just kind of hit or miss like I don't love them I don't hate them I think they're okay I have definitely tried better masks than these okay so next I want to talk about this brand this is the brand feel and this is like a newer brand and this is their Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Facial Sheet Mask, and this is a powerful detoxifier and pore minimizer. This was the first charcoal, like, sheet mask that I've ever tried, and I kept, a lot of these I kept the actual sheet mask to show you, like, the material and stuff. So, this one comes black like this, and it's made out of bamboo fibers, and it really, really was saturated in a lot of essence which here's how the box looks like you get a pack of four and these are um, this is a monthly supply and this brand I really like because they're all about feeling your best which when you feel your best you feel capable you feel beautiful you feel strong so that's something I definitely stand behind I really like that about this brand I really like their packaging so this mask I used this today before I filmed this video and I really really like it this says active charcoal deeply purifies and detoxifies pores, removes oil, reduces blemishes, and clears clogged pores. Hyaluronic acid to tone skin, mask made of non-woven bamboo fiber. Usually like all the sheet masks that I try kind of reach down my neck just a little bit, but these have like a sharp cut off right here. So if they could just fix that, I think this would be like a perfect mask. Just everything 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. I love the fit of it. I love that this material isn't super thick and it did stay like wet the entire time it was on my face. A lot of these masks that I have to show you, they dry out so quickly and like the little fiber mask is so like thick it feels like a paper towel and it really doesn't feel like it's allowing the moisture to sink in on your face so for these you're supposed to use them in place of like a weekly spa treatment and I really do love this this did feel like a spa type of experience I really liked that it's a charcoal sheet mask I've never tried that before and it did leave my skin feeling very moisturized but really clean and clear at the same time so I really really do enjoy these masks a lot. I like that these are ones that you use once a week and not like every single day. So a box like this will last you an entire month and it's really really good ingredients in here. The first three ingredients are water, glycerin, and aloe. So those are really really good ingredients if you want to moisturize and soothe your skin. So I like when 
brands have those as like their top ingredients. I don't like when you start off and you see like all of these chemicals and stuff like that. I really think they offer a lot to your skin and a lot of benefits so I would check these out if you're into sheet masks. I really really would. Alright so next up we have two masks that I've tried from this brand called Bon Vivant. I don't know if that's exactly how I'm saying it but I received these from a giveaway that I won from my friend and I love these masks. You can get these for a dollar a piece on mimibox.com which I will link down below. I also have a couple other varieties that I haven't tried yet but this one right here that adenosine and acai berry is more of like a milkier essence texture and I used this the other night and I absolutely loved it. These come like soaked with essence and I really really appreciate that. This other one that I have is madagascoside plus mugwort and here is what the little fabric looks like. I saved it. So this is a little bit smaller but I love how thin it is. When it's transparent I know that it's good. When they're not here I'll show you. This is from a mask that I'll show you later. Don't like this brand a whole lot because look at how like much more thick this is. I mean you're not going to get the essence to sink in your skin as well because it's all going to be drying out from this. The thickness of this. You could like clean your bathroom with these. <laughs> this mugwort one had more of a clear consistency but they both really really wowed me. These are definitely masks that I want to buy more of especially if they're only a dollar. These are probably the best dollar masks that you will find. I think they're so so good and apparently people really really like these and I didn't know that. I've never heard of this brand before. She sent these to me recently um, which I'll also link that down below if you guys want to see that. She sent me all types of sheet masks in a giveaway and I unboxed them. But these are the two that I've tried and I love, love, love these. These are definitely in the top three for me. Okay, so moving on to some not so good masks. And again, if you guys don't agree with me necessarily, if these are masks that you do like yourself, don't listen to what I say. Listen to your own opinion. If they're good, if they work for you, then that's great. I'm really glad. Um, and also, I really recommend trying different varieties and see what you like. Um, that's what I'm doing. I still kind of just follow my own opinion about things but this brand I have only three here to show you but I've used a lot of them this is from the brand Dermal and I bought them in a pack from Amazon and so here I have the Bee Venom, Bamboo, and Snail which the Snail is better so these are the ones that have the thick mask right here the thick material and what I don't love about this not only is it super thick but they have like these eye holes right here like covering up your eye and I don't really like that you have to like make sure they're flipped down and it's just kind of uncomfortable the material just it just doesn't do it for me it's too dry and I feel like my skin's not getting the moisture that it usually gets from a sheet mask. It's still feeling kind of dry. So these, I just kind of feel like, yes, they're cheap. Yes, they give you a lot of variety. I'm pretty sure these come in a pack of like 16 and they have two different varieties. They have more of like a vegetable herby kind and then they have like a fruitier variety that you can choose off of the Amazon. So if you're wanting to do like a mask a night type of thing, I mean, it's a really great value. It is, you know, a sheet mask. It's not terrible. It didn't break me out, but these are definitely like in the bottom three for me just because I don't like the material and I don't think they provide you with enough essence, especially with thick material like that. You're going to need to be like soaked because that stuff really really dries out quickly when it's thick like that especially around the perimeter of your face and everything so I just wouldn't recommend these I would go for something different I would buy again like those Bon Vivant masks they're only a dollar and I think they're so 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 much better than these so here are two other masks that I won in that giveaway and this is from the brand Nature Republic and I think the packaging is so cute I just love the little pictures on them um, I did try this tomato mask and I wasn't super impressed with it, but this rose one, love this. This was like 10 times better than this one. This one seemed kind of dry and I don't know, I was just kind of like disappointed with it. I, I expected better. These are like cheaper masks, I think, but this rose one was so good. I love this. This was like soaked in essence. It smelled amazing. It made my skin feel amazing and the actual fiber, like the actual sheet mask, felt good on my skin. It didn't feel like super thick. I felt like this one felt really thick and dry. So I don't know what's up with that, but I would repurchase this a million times over. And I think this is offered for a dollar, like a dollar fifty on the masksheets.com website, which whenever I order from there, I'm going to order a bunch of these. I absolutely loved this rose mask so much. It was amazing. It was just like, 
what happened with this tomato one? Like, what? where did you come from that you're so good and this one's not good? All right, and then that brings me to Skin Food Variety, which I also got these in the giveaway. Isn't that cool? I got, like, all these different varieties to try. And I do really like these. These are on the cheaper side as well. And I do believe you can find these in, like, variety packs and stuff like that. So I have broccoli green tea and lentil. Lentil was my favorite. I felt like the lentil one was really moisturizing. And then here's what the little cloth looks like. It is on the thicker side, but I just felt like it fit my face really well. Uh. So compared to like the dermal sheet masks, I still feel like this is thinner. As you can see, like this is super opaque. Like I really feel like I could take this and like clean my bathroom or something, like scrub my tub out with this. These I might consider to be in my top three. And this is from the brand Mally and I got these from Amazon. So I got these in a pack from Amazon over the summer and I haven't been able to find them in a pack. If I do, they might have it. I haven't checked in a while. But they were selling them in a pack of like 10, something like that, around 10 bucks. It was a really good deal, whatever it was, and they offered like a variety. I'd never heard of this brand, never tried it, but I love these masks. I think they're so, so good. They were like drenched in essence, and they're super inexpensive. They're super affordable, which I can appreciate. I love an affordable mask, especially if I'm going to be trying to use one every single night. These are really good. I really like that. I really like the cucumber one. So I have the snail. No, no, no. I have the snake variety here. Cucumber and then the pearl, which I've tried the whole pack of them. These are just the ones that I actually like kept to show you guys. And I'm sorry, I don't have the material to share with you. I don't think the material was super thick or super thin. I think it was like in the middle. What I loved most is that they were super drenched in essence and I could tell like a slight difference between them all like I know with some brands you try a variety pack and they all kind of seem the same but these were all kind of different and like I said I really really liked this cucumber one it smelled amazing and it was super moisturizing I used it on a sunburn and it just made an immediate difference to my skin it made my skin feel so much better and so much more soothed so I would highly recommend these I wish I could find them again for myself because I really really like them these are definitely in a top three for me okay so these are kind of funny and random these are little feet sheet masks and this is from the brand Mediheal I got these from Hot Look and I'll show you what they look like because I thought they were gonna be like actual sheet mask material but they're little socks like little booty socks and they're like um, plastic, they're paraffin, so to me that was kind of a surprise. So you put your feet in here, right, and then you like tape it closed. And it's supposed to be really moisturizing. Like the first ingredient in here is mineral oil, so it's not one of those kind that like exfoliate your feet and like eat away the dead skin and stuff like that. They're just there for moisturizing, and I got these in a pack. I'm pretty sure they came with three or four in a box. This is what they look like. And I was able to get like two or three uses out of these. I still feel like some moisture inside them. So if you wanted to keep them and reuse them for a little bit longer, I'd say you could go ahead and do that because, I mean, it only came with four. So that wasn't a whole lot. And I, I want to say these were around like $10 for a box of four of them on Hot Look. So I think these are really cool. It was really nice to treat myself after a long day and my feet hurt and they were tired. It's just nice to kind of lay around and have these, even though it's like kind of a weird texture to get used to because it's like little trash bags on your feet. It was still really nice and soothing and I need more of these because I'm out now. <laughs> and to round out my top three, I think I might, I think I might have already like hit my top three, but I wanted to share with you guys this other variety from Mediheal and this is their Vita Light Beam, which is their vitamin C mask and then their tea tree mask, which again, I got these in sets from Amazon. I'm pretty sure they came in a pack of like 10 a piece for like 12 bucks or something like that. Really good deal. And these are probably my favorite. I really, really love these, especially the tea tree. If you have acne or sensitive skin, oily skin, so good. These are your best friend right here. They come soaked in essence. And then this one's really good for brightening. I love brightening masks. And I did keep the little thing. So I could show you. So it has a little bit of transparency to it. It's still a little thick, but they give you so much in here, like so much essence that it's like, it doesn't even matter if it's thick or not. It's just so, so, so good. I love these masks. They made my skin feel amazing and like the mask fit so well and like the formula just kind of feels like gel or something where it adheres to your skin a lot better. It's not like drying out within like seconds. I would totally recommend these. I love these. 
these are probably my favorite of all because I really did notice a difference and I really feel like the formula was super rich and hydrating and it, there was just a lot of it in here. It was just soaked and I love that. It was really, really good. It was really high quality. Okay, so one last variety of sheet masks that I want to share with you that I've tried. I've tried one of these. These are from Big Lots. It's from this brand called APL. I don't know. This is the Argan Oil variety and these come in a pack of four. They come like this and they're only $2. I don't know where my wrapper went, but I've only used one of them. And I just want to give you guys a heads up. I don't like these so far. I've only tried one. I also got a box of their vitamin C one, which I'm hoping is maybe a little better. I will keep you guys updated. I still have a ton of masks that I still need to try. So there will be a part two to this and a continuing thing. I love sheet masks. I love trying sheet masks. But um, I will let you guys know if the other box is any good, but I don't like these. Again, the mask is way too thick. I even dislike these more than the dermal ones. These are at the bottom. These are the worst. I was really excited because Big Lots is really accessible and I thought it was cool that they offered sheet masks. You know, I could just run down the street and grab a couple if I needed to. And that was a really good deal. $2 for a box of four, which makes them 50 cents a piece. Wow, what a good deal, right? But I can see why these are cheap. Actual material is way, way, way too thick. I think it's even thicker than the dermal ones. And it's just, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good stuff. It didn't feel moisturizing. It just kind of felt watery and like maybe alcoholy. I don't know. I wasn't like, I just wasn't into them. So the one with the thinnest fiber goes to Bon Vivant brand. I really hope I'm saying that right. Feel free to correct me if I'm not saying it right. But this is like super transparent as you can see. And again, I think that's really important to make this, like, if you don't have good fiber, if, I keep saying fiber, if you don't have good material in a sheet mask, it doesn't matter if the actual essence is good because this is just not going to sit on your face well. It's not going to allow your skin to absorb all of the nutrients and everything. Everything's going to get sucked up by the mask if it's too thick, so... We need to let those companies know, we need to let them know that they're making them too thick. Make them as thin as possible. That's what we need. That's what we want. So that's all that I have to say. I really hope you guys found this video helpful and the reviews helpful. Again, look in the description box to find all these masks listed. And also, like I said before, I will be doing this. This will be like an, a continuing thing on my channel because I love sheet masks so, so much. They're like my new obsession. I love, love sheet masks. And also, if you guys have any recommendations of your own, please let me know in the comments because I love trying new ones, but I want to try ones that are good, you know, and also not like super expensive. I know they have like the gel variety, which I want to get around to trying. They're just like more pricey. And if you're trying to use them every single night, then, you know, you got to like really work that into the budget. But um, I just, I really love sheet masks. It's something I'm super passionate about and trying new stuff. This is like my first official like review of all the ones that I've tried. Treat yourself to a sheet mask every once in a while. Just try it and see how you like it. It's really amazing for a spa day. You totally deserve it to treat yourself to a nice sheet mask. Do it, do it now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.